Been skating the dragon wheels for about 20 days now. feel like they've done everything. These wheels are pretty amazing. They're different than your average wheel uh, intended for the street. Um, compared to like a Spitfire or Bones, uh, these are harder to flat spot, but I will say that they kind of chip. You see that right there? The wheel has chipped in different spots. Like not just this wheel, but it's chipped here, here, here like small bits um you don't really feel it when you're skating but i do want to address that chunks of the wheel have been like taken out depending on what type of surface i'm skating feels really smooth when you're skating on shitty concrete like blacktop especially i skated them in salt lake city's salt flats oh wow. baby and yeah, it was kind of hard to skate on it, but for and even like as I was skating it, like there was a there was a layer of salt building up around the wheel, and it just didn't really affect it really. I was still skating. I, I did a tray flip. I did fakey bigger spin, and I also played a game of skate with my friends on the flats. These wheels are game changers for sure, just because like they give you that um, cruiser vibe. You're still able to street skate, which is something that i love to do i love to street skate um i think skating on wood and ramps is one of the things that i found a little bit difficult just because like i would try to revert i wouldn't be able to like fully power slide uh which i think the wheel is meant for the street surface it's not meant for the wooden surface like they didn't make the technology for that specifically which makes so much sense but uh that was something that happened so that's one downside to it with the wheel getting chipped me and my friend did a power slide test with it you you can see right here i mean all right we're gonna do a quick dragon test it's been 14 days since i've set him up ipe said he shouldn't have to buy these wheels just because he can or can't power slide in them yeah i think because you're just probably know how often can, am i doing that you know May I use your wheels to test if they're better than those wheels? <laughs> oh wait, that might be... You what might take that into consideration like you don't get stuck with the soft wheels maybe? Look, the only reason why I couldn't power slide well, I, I don't blame the wheels, it's the... I think it's the trucks. I got a tool, we could loosen it. No excuses. Now nah, let me try again though. Just like scary, <laughs> just because of trucks. Not even just me skating it, filming Mowgli skate them. I keep hearing this like screech when he skates like a crook on a rail. He got he got caught, so that seems iffy. But it's not that you for sure get a soft wheel vibe, like really soft when you're skating. It feels like a cruiser to me, and I don't like that in it. As much as it does slide, I feel like it only slides well on this type of concrete. At a skate park, it felt like there's more resistance. Does it? All right, this may be like dumb to say, but I feel like I'm not street skating when I have them on. Like I have, when I rode yours, I was like, oh shit, I'm street skating. They're definitely smoother on ground like this, but I don't know if I like it. Okay, but thank you. Even though these wheels might not be for everybody, you can't deny the technology that has gone into these wheels and how it's changing skateboarding in a way because who knows what's next like just even having these wheels as an option that's that's pretty sick because then now you can go to like the shittiest spot you've been wanting to skate and street skate it and get clips or just go skate anywhere and not be and not be stopped so um as far as dragon wheels go, I really think that there's something 
that people should definitely try. I know that they're sold out in every store. People should definitely try these wheels out. Like I, my experience might be different from anyone else's experience, but for sure I've been skating like every day for the past 20 days and nothing has changed. If anything, I'm still skating. The only things that I have noticed were exactly what I said. The wheel has chipped pieces here and there. The chunk is missing right there. And it literally just happened with uh, one of my friends just doing a back 180 on the shitty ground. Um, it just happens. Like I wasn't trying, we weren't trying to make that happen. I was just telling my friend, hey, you should try these wheels. Let me know what you think. Compared to like my skating with other wheels, cause like previous to this, I had some Spitfires and uh, they're the side cuts. So they're like more of a square type vibe versus like this. We'll say the difference is as these wear, so I've been like, as I've been skating in the past the 20 days, I've just adjusted to how soft and like my body doesn't feel roughed. Like, so when you're riding on the blacktop or any rough surfaces, I don't really feel it going up in my bones or body. Like it just feels chill, if that makes sense. As far as that goes, that's, that's pretty much all I've experienced with these wheels, 20 days crushing it and these wheels these wheels literally are fucking sick the power sides are just as strong as any other wheel if not it's just cool just because it's different but other than that these wheels are the truth so let me know what you think